So after the devastating earthquake in Nepal this week, we do something that as humans we always do. We sit back and reflect on it. We ask ourselves, what could we have done differently? How can we prevent this from happening in the future? And the bottom line is we already know a lot about how to prevent earthquake deaths. Why are we not taking the action steps, right? Now there are a couple reasons for this that I'm going to get into it. So last Saturday it was a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Nepal leaving at least 4,000 people dead. Massive tragedy. It's really terrible. But one of the most basic truths that many people don't know about earthquakes is it's not the earthquake that kills people. It's the buildings that kill people, right? So obviously in a place like Nepal, many of the buildings aren't up to code. There are a lot of factors that go into this. We talk about economic insecurity. We talk about corruption within the government, poor infrastructure. These are all factors, poor regulation, poor codes. Right? These are all factors that lead to having unsafe buildings that aren't prepared. And listen, when we're talking about a region like Nepal, and especially over in India, these are areas that are ripe for earthquake. Right? Um, many of them are on a tectonic plate, and these plates can produce massive earthquakes that kill thousands of people. We're looking at the Euro-Asian plate being one of them. And listen, it's just going to continue to happen. So what can we do about it? How can we solve this problem in the future? Now, there are a number of reasons why these poorly built buildings persist. So like I was saying, number one, rapid population growth, right? The number of people who live within 60 miles of a fault capable of generating a seven magnitude earthquake is soaring with the biggest increase in the developing world. From 1950, to the year 2010, we're looking at almost a thousand percent increase in the developing world. Not nearly as much as maybe doubled in the developed world. Okay, so that's a huge problem. Two, a lack of money for poorer nations. I mean, that can be the biggest issue right there. You need money in order to upgrade your infrastructure. Three, and this is a big one, I think there's corruption and weak governance. Before you can even begin to tackle implementing codes and ways of, you know, setting some structure in how they build buildings, they need to tackle corruption first. None of this is going to happen if, you know, we put the code in place, but you can just pay a public official a thousand dollars to have to not follow it, right? That's a huge problem. Also, the biggest problem that we're going to have to overcome is complacency, right? Everyone thinks, oh, well, the earthquake just happened. It's not going to happen again for a certain amount of years. It's something that we don't think about actively, and that becomes a problem. So, unfortunately for us, countries tend to only take action when the tragedy strikes. So hopefully, something good may come out of this tragedy uh, and we may begin to see, especially in that region of the world, a little more attention to how the buildings are built and how to prepare for the next earthquake because unfortunately, it's just a fact of life. It's gonna happen again. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this story. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.